Hey, it's Joe Glines. In this video, we're still playing with controls, and I'm going to show how to enable, disable, show, and hide. I mean, this is some really cool functionality, if you ask me. Um, so let's get started here. So I'm going to uh, start off with control. That's the overall command, and then we need our... Well, maybe I shouldn't say command there, because the next thing says command. Let's say we're going to disable a command, uh, the, the control and which control so let's disable how about the down button i can see it there so um it's button five button five oops um and then here's hk class you know i gotta make a hot string for this thing it's driving me nuts because i that just typing that sucks so i'm gonna save this reload it now watch this down right now it's actually you know i don't know if it'll work with it's still selected probably will um oh it's running so i'm gonna run it and bam, now it's it's no longer enabled. Look, I can't, I can click up, but now I can't. Oh, it, look, it even locked the, the button being selected. Um, let's go ahead and enable that. So I'm going to comment that out, duplicate it, and I'm going to enable that button. Now, oh, now it's, that's really interesting because I wonder which way it would look. Um, but, uh, so now let's say, oh boy, that's, that's ugly. I, I want to make that hide, right? Let's say I wanted to disable it so much where people didn't even know it was a functionality that was there, right? So um, again, I'm going to copy this and let's do hide. Um, so we're just going to make button. Let's do button five and button four. So we'll do both. Save, reload, run. Bam. They're both just gone, right? I mean, I, I think this is some of the most amazing stuff in AutoHotKey now. Certain programs may not allow you to do this kind of stuff, but I, I think it's really cool that we can do this. And then, of course, if we want to bring them back, um, let's see, can I alt up? No, oh, wrong one. Well, all right, I'll just say show and show, say reload, run. There we go, now they're both back. Um, I'm sure if I hit cancel here and hit control F, it'll come back and now the, um, let's do a sleep here of 2000, so for two seconds. So we're going to make them hide and then come back. So they'll be, they're gone and then two seconds they'll show back up. Um, again, to me, this is just amazing how you can programmatically, let's say you had a certain setting on a, a program that your company uses a lot and people get confused to hit the wrong things. You can literally just hide the controls, right? Or, or disable them, um, or choose a, a different, um, automate selecting a different default value than what's there, right? This is some really cool functionality. Of course, the whole thing is if you're looping through something, you could automate the process of clicking each buttons, which one you want, but, um, I think it's pretty awesome. So cheers.